Hi, this is Marcus Vorweiler with Best Tool for the Job, my blog, uh, and a review of Personal Brain, which is a new piece of software that I'm really excited about. I found Personal Brain looking for mind mapping software, specifically to capture ideas, and I'll jump right in and go ahead and show you how I'm using it in that sense. As you can see, we start off with My Brain, and I'll go into Ideas and Tools for Capturing Ideas, and this is where I've listed Personal Brain in this case under mind maps, mind mapping software, and personal brain. And what you've basically been able to see is the interface. Something that will, or a couple points that will help make it clear uh, exactly what is happening. If you keep in mind that what's on the bottom of the screen is what you've already been to and what's on the top of the screen, excuse me, what's on the top of the screen is what you've already been to and what's on the bottom of the screen are the options that you have to go forward. So mind mapping so or personal brain is a child of mind mapping software and if I go back up to mind mapping software I can see all the children of mind mapping software. Just as another demo, something else I've been using personal brain for is to map um, some of my research and for example uh, if I go back home I can s go under science, uh, go under social sciences, under philosophy. I can look at philosophers, specifically in this case American philosophers. I can go to Ayn Rand and I'll find there a book that I'm reading now, which is Atlas Shrugged. Now if I roll over Ayn Rand, I can see that she's an author and I have her connected to Atlas Shrugged through an authorship, but I don't have much inf other information on Ayn Rand. Um, one thing that I can do for her and that I've started doing with some of the authors that I put into personal brain is adding their date of birth and death dates. So I can go to Wikipedia and find Wikipedia and find out that she was born in 1905 and that she died in 1982 and go back into personal brain, create a new uh, parent to Ayn Rand and put in 1905. Since I don't have any existing thought for 1905, it'll create a new node there. Then I'll just link this back in to years. Um, with that connection, I can change the link type to birth date. Then I'll do the same thing for her death date. What was it? 1982. Again, I don't have anyone else at 1982, and I'll connect this to years. Change the link type to death date. And just for the sake of curiosity, I'll show some of the other years that I've put in already. And clicking on any of these years will show what the what happened in that particular year. Like I can see that Emmanuel Kant died in 1804. So so far, you've been able to see a little bit of the diversity that Personal Brain is capable of, of diversity of information that Personal Brain is capable of capturing. For me, it's felt a lot like it felt whenever I started doing getting things done. There's so much information that I come across every day, and I feel like at sometimes I'm capturing it in bookmarks on Delicious, sometimes in notes, sometimes in emails, sometimes in all sorts of places. Whereas with Personal Brain, it's been the first time I've really felt like most of the information that I'll want to recall in the future has been captured into one place. Um, other uses for Personal Brain is that it can be used as a networking tool to keep track of people that you know um, and, and what's going on with them. Let's see if I can find that. should have, for example, here's the members of my family. I won't click on all of these just not to get into the personal relationships. Uh, it's It's been a great way to also to find patterns between concepts. It's been a way to journal and to use as a reference tool. Um, Personal Brain is in Java, which means it's available on OS X, for Mac, on Linux, on Windows. Java is not always the best, but on a, especially on a Mac, but it, they have implemented it really nicely. And I definitely recommend that if you're interested in capturing ideas and if you have a diverse amount of ideas, that you check it out. This is, again, Marcus Vorwaller with Best Tool for the Job.